Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Mid Week War. We are here to talk NXT, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mad Mike. Y'all know who I am. And with me, as advertised, is the one and only Sorgatron. Ladies and gentlemen, is the next generation of podcasting. It's time for NXT. I don't know if it's the next generation. All right. Okay. All right. We'll go with that. Just saying, there's a lot of old TNA guys in here. Anyway, uh, Sorg, Sorg, what is your one word for Nuxt? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Um, slobber knocker. Ah. Oh, well, th- thank you, JR. Thank- thanks for that word, JR. It- are all of your words going to be made up words this week? Slobber knocker is a real-, real word. Uh, is it, though? Yes. Slobber and knocker are real words. Hold on, Slobber hold on. knocker. Where's, uh, there's like a dictionary.com or something, right? Hold on. Is there Do not go to that? urbandictionary.com. Urban Dictionary. I feel, Hello. No, hold on. I have a feeling on Urban Dictionary, on. Slobber okay, knocker Google. means something completely different. Is Slobber knocker in the dictionary? Let's see what she says. I'm getting. I'm, oh, it's definitely an Urban Dictionary. Okay. Um, yeah. Sterling Dictionary. Is yeah, it, it's not in the dictionary. Online slang dictionary. Yeah. Your, uh, that's fine. It's in your dictionary. How about awaywithwords.com? Um, it's in your mother's dictionary. That's a, This is dictionary under NFL. Mm-hmm. Pro boards. Oh, submit dir- directory words. Miriam Webster. Let me click on this guy. And it is... Are you submitting slobber knocker to Miriam Webster's Hold dictionary? On. Slob, slobbage, slobber knocker to strike with a force so great that one is caused to involuntary slobber, especially in American football. The pulling guard absolutely slobber knockered the outside linebacker. Submitted in 2007 to Miriam Webster dictionary. Yeah, but but it's not in the dictionary. It is on Merriam-Webster.com. That is close enough for me. That is a place of record. Slobber knocker, you have been worded. What's your word? I, that's not a. That's not a. Word. Let's see if you can do better, Mike. My word is underwhelming. Ah! Damn it! My word is underwhelming, Sorg. Underwhelming, and it's for a very specific thing that we're going to get into. Okay. Okay. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Sorry. I plugged my phone in. Sorg, we're going to start positively as we are wont to do here. We are? What, what is your good this week for NXT? My good is, is Birch and, uh, and the Birch and what's his face, but the former Biff Music getting into it. What's that? Oni Lorkin. Oni Lorkin. I forgot about it. Um, yeah. Seeing those guys go at it yet again. Yeah. Amazing. No. Amazing. Totally keep this, that. Keep this happening. Keep this Sorg, happening completely. Sorg, you know what I'm hoping for? Hmm. You know what I'm really hoping for? Their rubber match is the NXT that happens before TakeOver. Ooh. That's what I'm really hoping for, Sorg. Because then I'll get to see it live. Wonderful. Ah. Wonderful. Ah. Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. But no, that, it, that seems like the perfect match. To be on that NXT after TakeOver. For everything else going on, that is the part that I'm excited about on NXT right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That was really, really good. Um, my good, and I'm echoing what Brandon is saying in our Facebook live chat room, Eric Young is back! Woo! Friend of the Eric show, Young Eric is Young back. is back! Friend of the show, and I have to say, Eric Young being back makes me excited for Sandy versus Author of the Pain. You say it, it, it makes the whole process whole, right? Oh, my God, so much. Because, no offense, Alexander Wolf, I'm sure he's a lovely gentleman. <laughs> he ain't no Eric Young. No, no, absolutely not. He ain't no Eric Young, not even close. And Eric Young showing up, like, Eric Young and Ruby Riot make that stable go. You mean? um, uh, Not Ruby Riot, uh, uh, Nikki Cross. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I, I have my I have my um, awesome NXT women mixed up, but yeah, those two make Sandy go. That that's why it's been kind of underwhelming for me the past couple of weeks. I'm glad, I'm hopeful everything is okay with his family situation. You know, everything's good on that end. But it's good to see him back in the ring. 
Yeah, and, and, and it does. And I hope it, he's the one in the tag match. It does complete it. I mean, I it just it, it, it's something's missing. Just just him being the ringleader of it, you know. Um, I th- I think does does pull that together. And now you have devious mind Eric Young against devious mind Paul Ellery. Paul Ellery, yes. That makes it and even you cooler. Have, and you have insane Nikki Cross because mm-hmm. I want to see Nikki Cross fight one of the authors of Pain. Is this I want do do we get I guess I don't know we're probably not at that point but do we get some kind of crazy author as a pain lady friend and who would that be could that be oh, Ruby well, Riot I mean no there's an there is such an obvious answer for this org who is that who is this obvious Rachel answer Rachel Ellerling what that's the obvious answer who Rachel Ellerling yes that would be my answer. I don't know why they're not doing this. In in fact, they named her something different when she was driving yeah. a, a little bit ago. So, which makes well, sense they, since Paul is part of the something. They gave her a different name for the um for the May Young Classic. They did there too. Interesting. Rachel Evers, maybe. Uh, yeah. Lacey Evers. I thought they gave it to her. I, I thought they gave her her it's, real it's name for that. Because they call her. They refer to her as Ellering's daughter. Yes, they do. So well, I think that I think that's just because. JR and Lita didn't know what to talk about. So strange. So strange. Yeah. Um Yeah, I'm I'm looking it up right now. Just Rachel Evers. That's okay, what they're it, calling. It her. is. Okay. All right. But still, like she's she's the perfect person like if they were to bring in a counterbalance to Nikki Cross, but the thing is the authors of pain don't really need that. But I the authors of pain need to lose to Sandy. I I really want to see them lose badly. They and plus, with the Eric Young factor at ringside, they don't lose anything in losing. Mm-hmm. So I think that ultimately helps them out. Good. So what pissed you off? Okay, we'll get to my bad. Um, because I I'm curious because right. you really kind of played this up. Yeah. So, I saw the Johnny Gargano, um, promo. Oh, where, where he said he hasn't missed a takeover since Brooklyn. And I'm like, he uh-huh. wants a takeover match. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So maybe, maybe we're gonna have like a Johnny Gargano open invitational. Mm-hmm. That'd be fucking brilliant. I'd love that. Or like maybe next week we'll get William Regal say, hey, um, you want a match? Fine, let let's find someone for you. And Sorg, I can literally think of. 10 people in NXT who are not booked for takeover that I would want to see Johnny Gargano against. Do you know who is not on that fucking list of 10 people, Sorg? Definitely not Mr. Almas. Definitely not fucking Andrade Cien Almas. Nope, nope. That happened, and oh. I think I tweeted. I wanted to tweet, because didn't we have a bet or something about Gargano and and and... Him, he'll have yeah. an interesting match because we're going to have a wrestling match or something. Unless yeah. Mr. Almas is going to show us something that we haven't seen before. I don't know if this is it. No, I mean, I mean, no. Just no. I don't want this. <laughs> I just hope it's like two minutes of Johnny wrestling just beating his fucking ass. And Can, I know that's not going to be the case. Related, case. related. Can I tell you my bad? We had this amazing match of Danny Birch and Ogney Lorcan to the point where when we had uh, uh, Almas and No Way Jose come out for the main event, I'm like, what do you mean this is the main event? Yep. What did I just watch? <laughs> That's exactly accurate. I also was watching on about a 10-minute delay, so it felt like I was in the right time frame for a main event, and I was ready to wrap things up, and then more people came out, and I'm just like, what the hell? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're exactly right. You're exactly right, Sorg. But I swear, there are like 10 people in NXT I'd rather see Johnny Gargano fight. Like, I'm not joking. Give me two. Give me two right off the bat. Two? I can give you five right off the bat. Uh, The the other five I had to think about. Um, Roderick Strong. um, Either member of Red Dragon. Uh, Let's see. The other member of TM61. Because what the fuck is he doing? Uh, (laughs) How about the Velveteen Dream? That'd be fun. That'd be fun as shit. Um, Cassius Ono, not booked. Let's see. Um, oh, what's uh the guy that was um that was Dylan Miley? 
I can't remember his name now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know his new one either. Yeah, but that big guy. Fuck yeah, put him up against Johnny Wrestling. I want to mm. see that. And I haven't even mentioned Tommaso Ciampa. Because obviously, that's who we want to see, but that ain't going to happen. Hell, I'll take Eric Young versus Johnny Gargano. Oof. Oh, I'll take Give that. Give me that. Friend of the show fight. <laughs> Ugh, let's do that. I mean, that's eight right there. If you're on audio, even... I, if you're on, uh, on audio, I'm sure you're imagining that he made a thrusting motion when he made that yes, noise. Yes, I did. I did. I, I made I made the Roman wrist uh, cock the fist for for Superman punch. There you go. But that's go. eight without me thinking. And I haven't even mentioned how great would it be to see Johnny Gargano versus Nikki Cross. <laughs> I wasn't ready I'm, for that I'm one. Sorry, it would be. You know, while we're at it, just. Nikki Cross, Johnny Gargano. Why I not? Nikki, He'll wrestle see, his wife. Why not Nikki Cross? I want to see Nikki Cross versus the whole roster. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the if, dream if match. If the TakeOver May event was Nikki Cross versus Bobby Roode, I would buy front row tickets to that. The dream match is Nikki Cross versus everybody. <laughs> Nikki Cross versus the world. Forget Roddy versus the world. Nikki Cross versus the world. Yeah, you'd even buy Nikki Cross versus Roddy. Yeah, and you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing um, No Way Jose versus uh, Johnny Gargano. Oh, shit, I thought you were going to say Nikki Cross. <laughs> but <laughs> I yes. wouldn't mind seeing that either. But yes. Yeah, but like, I I can literally think of eight people without even trying that I'd rather see Johnny Gargano go up against. Absolutely. And that, like Andrade, I is the whole point of the gimmick that the chick is there to get him not to be tranquilo when that's literally all over his fucking song. This is true. Maybe that maybe, I, I, maybe she's working on her new theme, a uh, new theme song where she's, I mean, it. I think she's trying to be Katrina from Lucha underground. And it's a not work a little bit, a little bit. He, oh, yeah. But see, the thing is she's trying to be Katrina why when you? he's trying to be Alberto Del Rio. Why you, it why you, work. no, no, no. Don't remind me of Lucha underground while we're talking NXT. Cause I'm going to slip this to number five. <laughs> There's only three shows. Right. Okay, but all right. So that was my bad. Um, just and you know we have takeover in Brooklyn every year for something like that's crazy. Why not have like a crazy signing? Someone that Johnny Gargano can face because mm-hmm. because that's when we've had like your Jewish Thunder Ligers. That would have you know, been you know like you know what would have been a a great takeover. What. Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole. Oh, Sorg. Oh. Oh. Now I don't even want to go take over. Just put that thought Maybe in my head. Maybe something will or, happen. Fuck, you know what would be really great? Johnny Gargano versus Tyler Bate for the UK Championship. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh, give me that. Oh, not Tyler Bate anymore. It's, um, what's his fuck? Dunn. Pete Dunn. Cruiserweight. Pete Dunn. Either of those guys. Oh, that'd be amazing too. Put him in a triple threat. Oh, and the other, the other two guys I was thinking of, Oni Lorcan, Danny Birch, not booked. Put either one of them in the ring with Johnny Gargano. I take. I've already I've... come up with twelve people that are better than Andrade <laughs> Cien Almas. I asked for two. <laughs> Hell, you know what? William Regal versus Johnny Gargano. Unofficial show title, better than a uh, better than than Almas. Yeah. Wow. Um, my, All right. So, yeah, what was your bad story? No, I already said that 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 um, that Lorcan and Birch weren't the main event, and I yeah, had another okay. match to sit through. Okay. Uh, so, Sorg, what would you change this week? That I would put Oni and <laughs> Birch as the main All event right. this All right, you week. Gotta, you gotta give me something I else, mean, Sorg. I would have. I changed this week. I don't. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe that promo with. Uh, Roddy and Bobby and you know it's like Roddy is trying to be Stone Cold Steve Austin he like like Roddy is like the lamest version of Stone Cold Steve Austin I've ever seen you Roddy's the lamest version of a lot of different people I've ever seen this whole like Like, he's he's, he's sticking up for his family I'm like okay I get it but at the same time it's literally just words like if you can't back it up, what is the point? Do you think this leads to a triple threat match? Eh. Because honestly, I'd be more interested if it leads to a triple threat match. 
I it could. Week of that's weird, but okay. I mean, because because I, 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 I don't want to see TNA retread. I don't want to see a TNA retread main event. No, no. Wow, it is. It really is. And yeah. I, maybe that's the thing they're going to throw. I mean, I, I I think that's more interesting. But it's, oof. It, are the ladies going to main event this thing? Like I, everything, like, oh. I don't I don't know what the main event is for this one. Is this the most worrisome NXT takeover you've seen? It's certainly the most worrisome Brooklyn one. Mm-hmm. Easily the most worrisome Brooklyn one. I mean, I I'm more hyped for the tag match now. I'm more hyped for the tag match. Uh and I was hyped when when Johnny said he was gonna have a match, and then that happened. Um Honestly, I'm, I'm more hyped about um, Alistair Black and Hideo, and I don't even really like either of those guys. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. That's the one I yeah. actually am looking forward to now. Yeah, but I mean that—that's I mean that's going to be a kick fest. That's going to yeah. be great. Yep. But... Yep. 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 All right. Well, where do you where like? Do you... If it's a triple threat, I think I'd be okay with that. Where, where do we rank it this week then? Well, hold on, hold on. I have to oh, get my change. Oh, there's a change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, my change. I would. I would have made the iconic do. Like I would have made Ruby Riot go in a different direction so I can get Billy Kay's thoughts on lipstick. I actually missed. Like I don't know what. They, like they started talking about lipstick and stuff, and I think I just tuned out, and I didn't realize no, something else got, happened. The iconic door is so good. They are the they fashion are. police of NXT. They they are. They really are. I mean, like I want them to be with the fashion police, oh, so geez. we can create a Scooby Doo crew. Oh jeez. That's what I want, Sorg. The fashion icons. Oh. Boom. Cut. Print, check the gate, moving on. That's it right there. They are SmackDown ready. They are SmackDown ready in that women's division. They would dominate. Imagine the iconic duo versus Charlotte and Becky. Mm -hmm. Imagine that, Sorg. And they can team with the fashion police, and they can be the fashion icons. It's all right there. They can be Daphne and Velma to Breeze and Fandangos, Fred and Shaggy, and you know what? Let's have Arn Anderson be Scooby-Doo. <laughs> okay. okay. He you, was you, the you workhorse, me, You sold me on the workhorse Arn Anderson as Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Ruby, 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 I, I put up the, for the audio people, I put up the four horsemen sign when I did that. <laughs> wow. So, did that just blow your mind a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, all right. I, I'd like to amend something that I said on Twitter. I, I said that Lucha Underground would be number one this week, even if someone gave me the booking for NXT and TakeOver. With the booking I just came up with, I would amend that statement and NXT would be number one. But this week, it's number two. <laughs> How about you, Sorg? Where'd you rank it? Number two. It just Oh, we didn't even talk about something, Sorg. The Street Profits. Yeah, that happened. Um, but, okay, but I, I, I have it, a can, supplemental can, change. Can I tell you something more interesting than the Street Profits? That there's a tag team called the Metro Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I didn't even know where to go with that. I'm like do they mean metro like train, like trains? Do they mean metro like metrosexuals? Do they mean metro like they're always on the go? I don't, I don't know what we're going. I mean, I just imagine buttons. they have transit cards in their pockets, and that's just where we went with it. But they just happen yep. to look like greasers. Hey, you know what? They should have a tag finish called "Hopping the Rail." Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but my supplemental change, and th I think this would fix a lot of problems in NXT. Are you ready, Sorg? Go for it. Take Percy Jack Percy Watson off of commentary. Have him manage the Street Profits. Ooh, ooh, that could be interesting. I think that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be really a good time because Angelo Dawkins he's still doing the the stir in the pot thing. I have no idea what it means, but I bet Percy Watson could come up with something fun. 
because then they could be the Showtime Street Profits. Like, ooh, yeah, yep. It's Showtime for and, the Street Profits. Yeah, and it gets Percy Watson off our commentary team. Yep, yep. Just let Nigel. And if they absolutely want him on, he can comment. He can commentate during their matches. Like he's the official commentator of them and playing them over. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, like the official spokesperson of the Street Profits. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Because he fits their dynamic really well. Alrighty, Sorg. So where can the good people in the internet find you? Sorgatronmedia.com for all the podcast goodness. And I am Sorgatron on the Twitter and the Instagrams. All right. You can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM where I ask Johnny Gargano who's going, who he's going to face a takeover and then immediately get disappointed when I find out. What, Sorg, are you okay there? I am trying to remember um, Pentagon. How many fingers is Pentagon Dark's thing? Three. Three. Seto. 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 It's, it's, like the, it's like the MM for oh, Mad yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah. So, the, because I thought, like, this, looks, this looks familiar. When you Seto. Miedo. I think I did it first. Oh, Seto. Seto. Miedo. Okay. There, there you go. I hope wrong, these aren't gang show, signs Sorg. around here. Because I'm in a public Sorg, I, I don't need your gang signs. I, I don't need your gang I, signs. I hope nobody outside notices gang signs either because I'm like kind All of right, in public right. now. With Sorg, over here. Sorg, that is it for this week for NXT. And we will catch you all next time on The Mid Week Whoa!